Hi everyone, I'm so about a week 34 and this is part two. Um, so it's a proper process video, this one. I didn't delete this one. Um, and I decided to use the pocket page that had the four six by sixes because I really didn't have that much going on for the end part of this week or the beginning part of the next week. So um, it's quite nice to be able to use these up. I've only got a, f a few pocket pages left from like 2023 um, that I had loads of. So it's quite good that it's actually coming down. I've got a few of these ones and I've got ones that have the six by fours in portrait like the three at the top and then the six three by fours in landscape which I find quite difficult to use um but other than that they're pretty much all done which is good um it means I can obviously move fully on to my set that I actually bought for 2024 but we're in September now so it's quite good that I've managed to you know have those as a backup so the first photo that's going to go in the first pocket is actually a screenshot. Um, my manager actually sent me like an e-card, like a thank you card to say thanks, which was really unexpected. Um, and it was just really nice of her. So I thought I'd include that because it's a new thing at work. I think that, you know, we get given like these e-cards and stuff like that. And you know, it goes up on the employee page and stuff. So I just think it was really nice. Um, and as I said, it was very unexpected. So I just thought that was quite nice to have. So I wanted to take a screenshot of that, um, just with the little message that she wrote as well. The, my photo printer did actually cut it off a little bit, but you can get the gist of it. Um, so I'm not too fussed. I was going to reprint it, and I thought, nah, it's, it's a waste of paper. Um, as I said, you can you get the gist of what she's writing, so it's not really a problem. Um, and I get to use some of my 2 by 2s on this um, layout because of the way that the pockets are. They're quite difficult to use other size um because obviously a six by four photo pretty much takes up the entire page um you don't really need to um find another big cut part to go beside it so i can use up some of my two by twos so this collection is actually um our story matters which i don't think i got right in the previous video um but it is an echo park one and i have used it before so it's a really really lovely collection so yeah, I'm just going to use the butterfly and the typewriter one that says noteworthy just down the side. And then I'm going to leave a little cube free that I can obviously do some writing on um, to say, you know, that I was really thankful for this little card that I got sent from work. Um, and yeah, then the next pocket, um, we actually had a storm um, in the middle of August, which is not normal, really. We have a, a, sometimes we have a bit of rain and stuff like that, but to have a full blown storm in August um, was a little bit weird um but it did knock down a lot of trees um so this was just down the road from us we went out for a walk and we just came across this road that all the trees had fallen down basically so um i did take some photos i actually took these photos to send to my mum um just to say obviously that we're fine but this is the um the aftermath of the storm that um happened so this was storm lillian um as i said it it we we were fine actually we don't have many trees around us that get really affected by the wind. We do live on top of a hill, though, so we do get the wind. But um, we, we tend to stay all right. I think one year we our drain pipe came down. <laughs> but other than that, um, we've been all right. Um, so, yeah, so I just took these photos of the road that when we were walking down there, I'm just going to put them next to each other on there. So, obviously, the paper pad is ever so slightly too small for a 6x6, six six, which is really annoying. But um, I sort of get around that by putting some washi tape down the sides um so that you know it you know there's no white space I don't really like having white space um on the sides so I want to cover that with using this washi tape the washi tape's quite it's either old I don't think it is I think it's actually quite a new one but it's um probably not the best qualities it does rip a lot um so it's just trying to work around that but you know you you sort of you get your cheap washi tape and stuff like that and they last don't last very long because they're not that um fall so it's um you know these things happen but it's still a lovely washi tape so I just have to be careful with it when I'm taking it off it's just a bit more fragile than my other ones so again just using another two by two and I'm just using some of the little stickers that come on the sticker sheet just the little flowers and the little paper clip which I thought was cute and then I've just gone off to go get my metallic markers because I'm actually going to write at the top in handwriting um Storm Lillian because I very rarely do handwriting on my I do obviously do my journaling in my um, handwriting but I don't do titles or anything like that I tend to either stamp it or just not do it so I thought I'd actually use these markers I actually got given these markers um, by my friends which are really they're really lovely they're, they've got like a fine tip and a thick tip at the other end um, I haven't used them much um, and if I have then 
Um, I've only used like the reds. I think I've used the red and the purple, um, but the blue one I hadn't used yet. So it just needed a little time to sort of wake up a little bit. And then suddenly all the ink came through. So I was just going over some of the bits. So I just thought I'd write Storm Lillian at the top. And then again, I can write a little bit down the side um, with what happened. So that is that one. Then the last photo um, is actually from our thank you cards for our wedding. So that was a palaver. So uh, the minute I we got our taster photos back from the photographer, I immediately ordered our wedding photos. So this was like four, five, four or five days after the wedding. And I instantly ordered these thank you cards. Um, and I got a notification saying they were being dispatched and they were going to arrive. And then about a week later, I just didn't hear anything. So I emailed the seller and that was from Etsy and I and said, you know, I've not heard anything. Is this OK? And then he said, oh, they seem to be have been lost in the post um i will resend you another i'll print and resend so then he did that again um so that took another week and a bit and then he said um right i've, I've got i've sent them now and then another week and a bit went by and i said oh i've still not received them um so by now it's been about two and a half three weeks and um i said you know what what's happening and eventually he sent it with a different courier and um they arrived but they arrived about three and a half weeks so two sets got lost in the post which was unbelievable, but he said it might be due to a label error or something like that. But we eventually got them, um, and I, I don't regret, but I kind of do. So I, I got them printed blank, so that I could write my own messages for everyone. But obviously, by the time I, I expected the the cars to arrive within like a week of the wedding, so you know I could gradually do it. But obviously, with them being so late, it meant that I <laughs> wanted to get them sent out as soon as possible. So I was quickly trying to hand write all these cards. Um, so I can get them sent out and obviously I have to go to the post office and get like 40 stamps and stuff like that. I know it's quite, is it archaic? I don't know, but I know not many people do thank you cards anymore because it's an added expense when actually people just say thank you on Facebook or, you know, them sort of things. But I just really like the sentiment. I wanted to say thank you to our guests and, um, I love stationery and I love all these sort of things. So of course I, you know, I enjoy these aspects if people send me a card like a thank you card I'll keep it and I know not many people do but I just really like the um the sentiment of it so I wanted to do them so yeah so I had to write hand write all of those um and I just took a picture of them before obviously I um did that and then I'm just going to use a six by four cut apart from the collection just to go on the fourth um page because I didn't obviously have another photo and I just really loved the sentiments on these um cut aparts very much all about documenting and little stories and stuff like that so yeah I really enjoyed putting this one together so I hope you enjoyed this part um, apologies for the previous one where I didn't actually film a process um, but hopefully that will be the end of that so hope you enjoyed and I'll be back soon bye